play this first, now they play us, yeah I ain't never asked for no favors, nah You can take my name off the wait list, yeah Ooh, feeling like the greatest, ooh Studio feeling so spacious, ooh I don't need a lot of niggas around me, ooh Got a fan base, happy that they found me, ooh So I'm feeling like the glow See the glow, you ain't gotta get close Tap champagne, flutes, make a toast All goals, we ain't going off hope Nigga cross me and probably get crossed out Boss nigga, no, I can't call out Too fast, little baddies on the arm now Squeeze ass while the valet bring the car round Got me feeling like one of the greatest ever, don't debate it ever If I'm on your list, it's only A-list ever If I'm in your playlist, then your playlist better Bitch, I'm feeling like greatest Listen, man, uh, the greatest, man That's Don oh, Michael Jr., the greatest I Listen, like that I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest Kung Fu master ever No, you the I can put that out there On the black you know tip, on the black tip Ain't nobody already holding the black tip, You the, the, the GN, hold on, hold on You the G-N-A-T The greatest nut of all time <laughs> no, see, you just a hater. You know, ain't nobody holding a black martial artist down like I am. But listen, before we even get into this, man, this is Million Dollars River Game. I'm Wallow267. This is hey. Gilly the Nut. You know what I mean? What? Uh, That's your handle. Gilly the King, nigga. That's your handle. Your handle is Gilly the Nut. Mm. Gilly the Nut. This is Wallow. I'm the greatest nut man, listen, ass man, nigga listen, of all. We're going to come right in. We're going to give shout outs to our sponsors from the rip. Listen, man. Mm. Have you had any good hair lately? Mm mm. Think about that. We're going to go back to that. But I don't really like talking about the hair because I ain't got no hair. Once again, it's a real personal issue with me. But shout out. To our sponsors, Diva Glam. Diva Glam. Everything, DivaGlam.com. Had uh-huh. you had any good hair, lady? I haven't had some, so I don't really like saying it no more. But shout out to our sponsor. Also, shout out to our other sponsor, Loyalty Over Money, L O M Clovenstore.com. Check them out, man. Loyalty Over Money, man. Look at the t shirt. Oh, look, you see the logo look right there. Look at the t shirt. You see it? Uh, ooh. And let's talk about Loyalty ooh. Over Money. Let's talk about it. You the type of nigga that would cross me for a couple of dollars, wouldn't you? No, no, I wouldn't do yes, that. Yes, you would. I wouldn't do such. You ain't shit. I wouldn't do such. Nigga, off you five hundred thousand right now. You be on the goddamn duck and duck podcast. <laughs> no, no, I start my own martial artist one. I will do that. Like, I'm really, I'm really thinking about starting a martial. Yeah, you artist start one. a Bruce Flea podcast <laughs> because a lot of martial artists been reaching out to me telling me we need to start a podcast to speak about the the arts. Oh, okay, I could tell. Would you cross me over money? No, I wouldn't do that. And so it's loyalty over. I wouldn't do that, but I, I I gotta let you know I've. If if certain mad grandmasters step in, I gotta I gotta disown you. If they give me the, if they give me direct orders, that's to disown a nice you. hat right there that you got on loyalty over money hat. Yeah, yeah. got the money bag on it. All that. You know, loyalty is everything, cuz. He is everything. You loyal to me? You loyal to me? I whoop your ass if you're not. Just understand. I don't that. think you're capable of doing that, so I don't really worry about them type of things because I don't entertain them type of things due to my status in the martial arts world. That'll never happen. But go on to the next thing. Okay. Well, shout out to loyalty over money. Our sponsor, shout out to everything. Diva Glam. Diva Glam. Dot com. We love you guys. So let's get into this podcast, right? The definition of love, relationships, family, and friends. So is you talking about the definition of love with each department? Yeah. See, me, me personally, I'm not a big love guy, you know. So you don't love me? You told me, you always tell me you love me. I mean, I'm more of a, oh, a, a trust oh, guy. Oh, oh. You always tell me you love me, though, because no, I love I you, love, I love the person that you're you going to be. You I'm know not, what I mean? So you don't love me? Of as, course I love you. I used to I used to, I used to, I used to, to wash you up when you was younger, dog. I used did, to put but, you in but, the but, tub but, oh, and shit, I, I just want to say course, something. I'm going to say I love you. I really need to know something. Do you love Do you love all of me? Meaning, do you love the martial arts in me that I became a I mean, I accept you for who you are. No, you're you know, trying to finesse that. You're trying to slide it in like, like you're, you're not in agreement with tell you something. my approach to okay, life and what I do. Something. That's what you're telling me. You a nut-ass nigga, and I've come to accept people for who they are. So you a nut-ass nigga, and I, you know, Tootie really was like, you you really love this nut-ass nigga. I'm like, Toot, that's my cousin. Like, You know what I mean? Toot, like before, before you came into my life, he was my cousin, Toot. You know what I'm saying? She didn't understand it. You know, she's still no, mad Tootie, about... No, Tootie she understand still, the martial no, arts. She understand mad. the martial arts. She understand that part. But she's still mad that you walked in the mall with her with that goddamn bear snuggie on, man. The onesie? Yeah, the bear Y'all, onesie, man. I'm just saying, that was cool. I, I, you know, she she she's still mad about that. And she don't understand she how I Did I embarrass her that day? I embarrassed, you know, embarrassed the of, fuck out of her. Yeah. And she she's still upset that, you know, that I would actually have love for her. A grown ass man who would wear a fucking bear onesie at thirty nine years old. No, and I, I just told her that I accept people for who they is. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, you were so used to wearing that jumpsuit that it was just like a decorated jumpsuit. No, no, at the end of the day, you know day I went to jail when I was 17 and I'm trapped in the time castle. I'm reliving my second childhood right now. That's okay. what that shit really was. Okay. Well, and sometimes I'm allowed to just do that. I mean, and, and exercise my and individualism and exercise my youth because I was it was snatched away from me. But go ahead. So I accept you and I, you know, I love you for who you are. But as far as I'm a person that I'm not really big on love. I'm, I'm more big on uh, trust. Can I trust you? Because I know motherfuckers that love you that, that get your house robbed. But I, I will say about love. One thing about love, love is intoxicating. And uh, I once seen uh, Love Pimp a Pimp, kind of kind man, and pickpocket a pickpocketer. So love can be dangerous at some time. Absolutely. That's why I'm more of a trust guy. Because if I can trust you, then I know you always got my best interest at heart. You know, I can learn to love a motherfucker. So, like, I can learn to love you right, later on ask, down the line and shit. Let me ask you a question. Can I trust you? If we just so happen to be getting out, we're going to an event, and we're in a back alley and it's dark, and danger arrives, do you trust that I would take care of everything? No, I trust that you would look for a fucking exit plan. So you That's don't trust, trust. me? You basically no, no, no. Tr- no, I just know that when danger comes, See, I'm, I'm glad you, you, you don't approach danger. See, you're starting to be able to you identify run from danger. danger. You're starting to be able to identify danger if the attacker's coming. First of all, that's some bitch shit right there, the attackers. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you, a scorned woman? The attackers came. What the I'm fuck are you saying, talking about? The, the, the attackers. That's Mar- when I'm teaching my students in martial arts when I'm in my dojo, that's the type of language we use. Oh, okay. So you just be in the dojo. What y'all be doing in the dojo? You oh, be wrestling oh, oh, oh. around with men in the oh. dojo? That's too uh, much. That's TMI. Too much information. I mean, we want to know the stuff that happens in the dojo is sacred. I can't be laying getting you all this information. Why is it sacred? Because it's martial arts techniques that the layman man ain't supposed to know. Okay, but you know, um, I was on my Instagram page and a, and an OG came through who actually knew Karate Earl. I told you. I told you people know Earl. I told you a lot of people know Earl. He definitely knew Karate Earl. See, then when I took you down the way, you you thought, see, see, you know what, know what, y'all? He really said Karate Earl Earl taught him some shit. Listen, he really thought that Earl was like a myth. I took him down the way, people like, no, Earl was a legend. I told you he is who he is. I knew Earl was real. Earl Earl was a legend. Everybody from the hood was, Karate Earl was a legend. Was hyping him the fuck up. But when that old head came across my Instagram, talk about Karate Earl told him this shit. I told you. And then he uh slapped the gun out of some guy's hand and showed him what he would do. But Earl told him. But that. this was the this was the the key ingredients to all that. He didn't know Wallow. No, 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 no. They no. asked him, "Do you know Wallow?" He was like, oh, the "Fuck no, no, is no, Wallow." No, no, no. I knew. I knew Earl. I don't know. I no, don't no, know he no. Knew fucking Earl, he knew Wallow. Oh, he knew Earl by default. I was Earl top student. I don't. I don't have to explain it. He's nobody. He's nobody to me. <laughs> Tell me he don't know me. He don't. I don't. You, you think I worry about him knowing me? Like I know. Like Earl. Er, I'm Earl Legacy. I carry the torch after Earl, so I don't have to worry about all that. Okay. So, so we was just talking about when danger comes. Yeah, right? when danger when comes. When your attackers come. When okay. The attackers oh, wait, come. wait, wait. Let's talk about when we was pulling up to the studio, right? Mm-hmm. Now let me let y'all know. Wallow went to jail seventeen. He didn't have a driver's license. He came home at thirty-seven. Got his driver's license. Oh, I didn't. You didn't. I didn't need no driver's license back then. Cause back then in the day, they, you just park your car. They'd be like, right. "Oh, park well, your car." To, you he came home at thirty-seven. But I always knew how to drive. Got his driver's license, right? So when he came home twenty years later, you got to understand that he still drives like he's seventeen before he went to jail. So he pulls into a parking space and backs up into this white guy's car. Oh, my God. Here you go. And he lost his fucking mind. Oh, hello. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? You didn't. You went straight into apologetic mode. I'm sorry. Bitching at a rapid rate. And and that white man was stocky like Rocky. (laughs) He jumped right up. Dude, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, who? Excuse me. I ejected myself out of the car, too. Quick. To apologize. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's not what I did. That's not what I did. I had to tell that white man, man, shut the fuck up, man. No, 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 no. Cuz, don't talk to him no, like no, that, cuz. No. I was wrong, cuz. I was did, in the wrong. Listen, what I did, I de-escalated danger. See, what happened was this. This guy was in danger. He jumped out, and I gave him a way out. This is when we <laughs> retreat. I gave him an exit plan. <laughs> he jumped out, and this is what I said. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is what I said. Excuse me. I'm, I apologize. We don't have to go there. He kept, you know, you hit my car. And I said, I said and I <laughs> he said, was once, flexing on I said, you. once again, I said, I said, big guy, let's not do this. This is not the place for this. There's not a scratch in your car. I think we can settle this easily. 
and he wasn't trying to hear it. He snapped out again. He snapped and, out and again. You know what I did? You know no, what I did? then I told him, shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. And then, and then the fuck out of here, man. He, 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 he hit your shit bumper to bumper, man. Chill out, man. No, no, I will and then, say. And then that de-escalated all the, all no, the no, drama. No, 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 no. What happened was. I he rem- caught you BRR bitching at a rapid rate. No, this is what I did. This is what I did. Bitching hold up, hold at up. a rapid. Hold up, hold up. Sorry. <laughs> and you wasn't that calm. You wasn't talking like how you talking now. Listen, buddy. Calm down, big fella. <laughs> listen, and all listen. that shit. You was like, oh, no, 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 wait, no, 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 wait, no, no, no. This sorry. Hold, this you happened. don't have any scratches. See, see, what uh, happened is I had everything under control, and then you heightened the danger, and then I had the DS guy pulled him to the side like I did. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me talk to you, big guy. We went over to the side and said, this is a misunderstanding. There's not a scratch in your car. And you know what I told him? This is when I told him. I said, listen, <laughs> we can handle this like this, or... I think you really want to do it like no, this. No, you didn't. This, no, this is what he said. You can handle it like no, no, this. No, this is what he said. No, well, no. I'm going to call the police. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, even we can handle no, it like men no. and gentlemen, we can talk it out. No. He was like, it's cuz looking. I don't want to be known as a no. rat. It's cuz looking. Cuz not looking. Or I could call the police. Well, listen, you don't this, want me to call the police. I don't, I don't see Sensei Wallow doing no, that. No, I did not. And this is what I told <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's what he This told. is what I told him. This is what I told him. I backed him up. Because he, he said, because you heard when he said we was together, me and, Gil, me and him was by ourselves. Gil was like a car away. He said, on what? And I said, listen, buddy. He, I, said, I said, I said, we can handle this nicely, or we can get into something else, and I don't really want to go. He said, oh, what? Then what? You said, I, said, I don't want to call law. This is what I told him, and everything stopped. I said, you I said, you really want this? I said, let's kill each other then, motherfucker. No, you're lying. And his whole you thing changed. That shit. His whole thing changed. He didn't say that his shit. His whole thing changed. That, he knew I was a martial artist right then and there. He didn't say that. He said, either we can handle it like gentlemen, because not looking, or I'm going to call the police. I don't want to call the police. <laughs> and dude didn't want you to call the police either. <laughs> I didn't know. That's what you said. I never mentioned Johnny. I never mentioned Johnny you Law. You mentioned Johnny and Law. And even in my battles. Battles, never. Yes, you did. You I mentioned never mentioned Johnny, Johnny Law. Law. <laughs> I never mentioned Johnny Law in none of my battles. Never. <laughs> and you was bitching at a rapid rate when he jumped not. out don't, stocky don't do like that, Rocky. Man. Don't do that, man. He jumped out all shoulders. <laughs> he was on steroids, Dude, man. what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he was on steroids, cuz. He was on steroids. <laughs> he might have been, but you was bitching. At a rapid rate, it was unbelievable. We both lived to see another day. That's all that matters. I don't really. I'm not going to talk about that. Anymore. Well, that's that's what you. That's what it's about. Yeah, living smart, to see another man. day. Smart man, I'm smarter than him. Okay, let's see how smart you are. Is it easier to get into the rap game now than it was back in the day? Apps are fucking lootly. These kids got all these outlets. That you can get popping on. We had to run up on motherfuckers. We had to run up on Puff. We had to run up on Jay Z. We had to run up on 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 all these people to get an opportunity. These motherfuckers could get discovered overnight, right here off the phone. So it's without a doubt easier to get on in today's world. I would say I would say you're absolutely right. Due to for real, for real, SoundCloud is everything. You got hundreds of millions of people on SoundCloud, right? And SoundCloud, you can just go up there and put it up, and you could be popping overnight. Like SoundCloud, all these outlets, it's just so easy for a young cat to make it happen. And, you know, and for real, for real, there's no, like a lot of people, a lot of older dudes, they get an idea of what a dude's supposed to be doing. Sometimes even you do, sometimes I do. No, more you than me. I don't really care. And uh, you could be wrong at that due to the fact of, no two people has ever got into the rap game the same. No two people in the history of life. No two people went the same outlet. So you could do what you want. There's really not no rules into getting into the game. Like, you could be a goofy rapper. You could be any type of rapper. You could do all types of stuff now because there's different audiences. And the audience is continuing to change. You know, like you got that young audience, but the young audience can change. They keep changing. And they just still be young. And you always can keep, keep boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? So it's like. It's, it's way easier. easier. It's do, way easier. Do you think it could, it'd be possible that it could be easier and harder uh, for some people? Like you know, when you was doing it, y'all could really hit the street. You number one back in that time, people ain't really tried to rap right. that couldn't rap. Right. So one, the talent was there. So right. it was really about who was going to put the investment into going in the studio, putting together a project, and then getting on the road and, and, and touching the people. Right. So now it seemed like. Making content is like having a lottery ticket, right? Right. Nowadays makes it where there's more lottery tickets. But because sometimes people get lost in that sauce because, you know, you got to listen to 10. Nah, not 10. You got to listen to a thousand whack niggas. And that Kendrick Lamar, that Gilly the Kid, 
that Scarface. But it ain't about that no more. Though. You know, yeah. one thing I realized about it's not even about the level of music. It's about it's about a it's about a moment. It's about some people got moments, some people got movements. It's about different things. It's also about this. These days, it's like a lot of hit records is marketed. It's, it's more marketing than it is talent because sometimes it can program your mind. See, we're moving off of programming. We're being programmed to everything. What we see on our social media, so they're able to plug things into where it pop up on YouTube, it pop up on Facebook, it pop up on it SoundCloud. It's everywhere. It's popping up on you, so you like, and you just get used to it. You get used to it and used to it, used to it, because our attention span is short. And what you hear the most of, you can win. So it's like it's not even a rules. It's not about like on for real, for real. Like I can say, okay, this is hot. You can say this is hot. You got to think about it. Back in the day, we grew up. It was only a couple of restaurants, like mainstream restaurants, like you know. I'm not even going to say them because they're not paying us right now, but it was only a couple of restaurants. Now it's a bunch of them. So your idea of hot is, can we say our idea of hot, some, some people's idea of hot might be outdated compared, compared to what's culturally accepted now that's hot? Right. So you got you to be mindful of that because a lot of times you'll be like, oh, that's trash, it's garbage. That's trash and garbage in an area that don't exist no more. Right, right but, but I'm saying you for the time that? period, it was almost impossible for somebody to have Gilly's skill set, right, have y'all kind of, Dedication oh. and not at least be known oh, 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 oh. in the city. Gilly didn't have his own skill set. Yes, I did. I was writing his raps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. I was writing good raps. I wrote for Lil Wayne for real. For I wrote them raps in jail. I'm just. Oh. Gonna, it got to come out. I wrote. I wrote his. You know raps. what? I did notice that it I was a lot raps. of. I wrote his raps. Your, your flow was in Gilly's raps. I just sent him books of raps home. <laughs> I did. Know I, gave him the canes. I gave him the canes. I gave the canes and I sent him books of raps home. I'm just gonna put it out there. I wrote a lot of the stuff that he said that he wrote for Lil Wayne. I wrote it. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Let me say this. I wrote for I, I was the rapper. I was the best rapper in Major Figures. I can definitely say in my generation, niggas who couldn't rap didn't rap because we didn't allow it. It was a little bit more, um, I would like to say we was a little thorough than the motherfuckers. It was more pride today. back then now than right. it is now. Nah, right. For because it was more pride. Because if a homie got in the booth and couldn't rap, we would all laugh, bust out laughing, grind them the fuck out. But now that's hating. Out the that's booth. hating now. You can't do that shit now. Right. 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 Now, I see these young guys, they encourage motherfuckers to rap who ain't got no talent. Man, fuck it, man. You here, you with us. You might as well go in the booth to none of that. That's not how the fuck it works. And you can't even tell a homie that he, like, 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 you can't tell a homie that he's not hot. If you tell, like, you can have a homie, I'm going in, I'm going. Like, you be like, yo, homes. Like, you're not, like, your friend is supposed to be able to give you constructive criticism. But, like, now, everything is super emotional and everybody right. is, is so feminine to the point is you can't even get them constructive criticism because that's hating. Absolutely. And it's like, it ain't, if I don't like it, I don't like it. That don't mean that I'm hating. But like, right. I'm your homie and I don't want to see you put yourself out there. But the dude would be like, I'm going after my dreams. Well, the reason is because I'm you said in this out. time, the yeah. person could do anything to go they viral and then put yeah. an album out. If a nigga eat shit, right? If a nigga eat bowl of shit mm -hmm. on, on, on the internet, he going to get followers. Oh, that's the boy to be eating shit, right? Right. And then he get a million followers, a label will give him a deal. Right. Yep, they will for his for, for following. But I would say this though. It comes to a point where it's like this. I told somebody the other day, somebody hit me up. Yeah, well, I'm ready to, I'm ready to do that thing. I'm ready to get back in. I said, get back in. What, what you talking about? Get back in where? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to step back in that booth. And the whole time while he ready to step back in his booth, I know him and his girl. His girl like, Wally, tell him stop playing games. He ain't going to be doing that shit. I said, what? What's going on? I said, no. I said, and I'm telling I'm laughing. I'm like, you supposed to encourage his dreams. Now the question got to be this, because I, I I just said, man, you got to do what you want to do. I didn't want to be the person. But his girl was like, she basically called me like, wow, you want some bullshit. Why you tell him that? I said, no, he got to do what he want. I'm not going to knock nobody's dreams. But is it an age where it's, though, it's too old to be trying to enter the rap game? Yes. Like, hold up. We, before we define that yeah, age, because hold, because hold up. She was basically like, wow, this 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 nut trying to rap. We got bills to pay. He talking about a mixtape, putting out a mixtape. That's not bringing no money in. He's talking about, no, I'm, I'm chasing my career. You got to be supportive of my career. I'm going back in. The game is, the game, the game, he ended with this joke. The game is worn down. They need some real, <laughs> listen, they need some real MCs out here. I'm like, oh, he's outdated. Yeah, he's you got to already he's be they, in. He said, hey. they, they, they need some real MCs. I'm going back to the booth. I'm getting this money. So I'm, I'm saying to myself, like, is there, I need to know, I just, I'm, I'm not, it's not me. I'm not judgment. I want everybody to do their thing. But what is the age frame of when you're not supposed to be rapping and you got a girl, you got kids, 
You got girl, you got kids, and you talking about you putting out a mixtape and you never, you never cracked the scene yet. What age were you in violation and you disrespecting your family? Were you telling me some? Yeah, baby, I'm getting in the booth. I know we got three kids, but uh, and let uh, me tell you something. What age? I just need to know. Okay, I'm about to tell you. Let me tell you something. If you ain't got no traction through none of your motherfucking twenties, no traction. If nobody didn't give a fuck about nothing you had to say in your twenties. By the time you hit your 30s, nigga, it's over, nigga. Cut that bullshit out, man. You get, like, like, you have to have some type of traction as, as, as a youngster. If you didn't have no traction as a youngster, because your younger days is your prime days when you a rapper. But what's, but what's old in the rap game now? Because you know it's getting younger and younger. You know, a, a young cat in the rap game is like 17, right. 18, 19, 20. Is it over 20? Is that older? Is that like I mean, it old? depends on what kind of rap, too, because there's still a there's still an avenue for... Other kinds of rap. Like too. motherfuckers be hitting 37 putting out their first mixtape. Nigga. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. You lying, Gil. I don't know, I don't know nobody that's 37. Let me tell you something. Is, is he lying? Go run the bath water and drown your fucking self. Yeah, You me. can't tell people not to chase that, their dreams. No, I'm going no, no. I'm, to I'm tell you motherfuckers right here. If you putting out your first motherfucking mixtape. Come to SFX Studios and give us the money. We, we, in we, your we. mid-30s. <laughs> you hear me? Because they got, your, real they got real money. They probably got real money. In your mid-30s. Is a blue bridge called the Benjamin Franklin. Jump off that motherfucker for me. Please. It's over. It's been over. You hear me? And you know what the problem is with a lot of these motherfuckers? I'm going to keep it real. I done seen a nigga who came, who come to me for his artist. Yo, get I got an artist. This nigga was management. I got an artist. He hot. Won't you listen to him? <laughs> I seen this motherfucker four months later. He talked about, oh, no, I ain't fucking with him now. I'm, I'm concentrating on my shit. Wait, what, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so, I, no, thought, I thought you was the fucking no, manager. But no, you know, you know what Now comes... you putting the fucking album out? So it the, this generation is fucked up on that type of time, man. Whereas though even the motherfuckers who didn't have no aspirations of rapping, doing none of that, now everybody feel like, I can do it, and that's not the case. But what about this though? What about this? That's not the case. Like 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 the great Suge Knight once said, "You got a manager. He all dancing in the videos, rapping. You know, what is that about? Like a lot of these dudes, was ex rappers, they be trying to be managers. Sometimes they fuck up a whole thing. Like a lot of people fuck the whole thing up. You dance, don't dance. Listen, listen, Gil. If you was my manager, don't dance in my video, man. Sit, go go get go get me some money. And we got to be mindful for the word manager." A manager is somebody you get with that got connects that can get you into the door, not somebody that's just freestyling out here talking about, I'm your manager. I got this. And blocking a bunch of money because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Right. If you got a manager and they're trying to be popular and they're all over the place, get the fuck away from them. And, and, get far away from them. If and, they're trying to po be popular, they can't manage you. Hold on. And the flip side of that is a manager is not just a motherfucker who you got money. your fucking hands in his pocket. He's not a babysitter. He's he, right. paying your rent. And just give me right. here. Uh, but here. see, because a lot of niggas get with street niggas, and now motherfucker paying your rent, he putting money in your pocket, buying you the drip, nigga buying you the drip, nigga, nigga, nigga trying to run around trying to get you a used car. The nigga, niggas doing all this shit. That, and then that, they, that, and that, this, that's not fucking manager. No, 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 no. I did three months. That's your fucking father. Oh, and then three months later, you got a new manager. Right. Then three months later, you got a new manager. And then three months later, you got another new manager. Right. We can't do that. Right. Well, ain't then, that why some managers end up being like, fuck it, I might as well rap. I done spent 30 bands on this nigga, no, and this because, nigga bullshit. No, because the managers didn't have the talent. If you had the talent, you would have wanted to be a rapper from the get. You wouldn't have wanted to be a manager. So at the end of the day, you know, being a solid dude is being a solid dude. You know what I'm saying? It, like, I got a goofy-ass son. You feel what I'm saying? I know that the nigga's goofy. This motherfucker told me one day, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna go to college. I said, Well, what you gonna do? This motherfucker said, play basketball. I said, bitch, you ain't never played basketball in your life. What the fuck are you talking about? I love I love but, his I love his energy. Right, but he's still future. fucking goofy. He's real, he's extremely optimistic. No, I love that. No, probably. that doesn't mean he's not fucking goofy. He's no, 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. You he's, feel what I'm saying? he's different. He's different. Oh, that's my son. He came out these fucking nuts. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm just saying I, he's I, got, a fucking I, got, a, I got a right this family. I got a right I got a right to define him too. So at the end of the day, your definition of him is not hundred percent. Yes, it is. That's a percentage, but I could put mine. Because I'm a different person. I understand Man, his individualism. Let me tell you something. And he's approaching life, he's nigga, optimistic, and he can do it. 
you moved to Tolima, you can play basketball. You a nigga who you don't even have any kids. You know what we, I mean? I and back in the day, you, you didn't wear no condoms. You used to slam all your bitches raw, and <laughs> none lie. of them got pregnant. <laughs> so lie. I believe you got a fucking cap gun. You know what I mean? You, that motherfucker go, Yo, you bop, lying on me. You bitch lying go, on me. Bop, and dust come out. You lying on me. Bop. I never was, listen. You got to start a pistol. I never man. was Bobby Bearback. I never bearback nothing. In your whole life, never you never bear- had a girl pregnant. In your whole life, oh, I can name about five girls that you bear back. You lying, nigga. You, lying. you was bear back king, nigga. You lying. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? You lying on me. nigga. Fuck is wrong. You lying on me. Bear back king, nigga. You lying on me. Is you serious? You lying. And you never had a broad pregnant in your life. You, no, I always I, used no, to I, ask I, you that I, back I, in the day. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You thought she was pregnant. She, what she had it was another nigga baby. Keep it real. <laughs> Little nigga came out dark skin with curly hair. You knew that was your fucking child. That's why you. That's why you said stand down, stand down. You knew that was your fucking child. <laughs> you lying on me. Fuck, we got to bear. Back king, <laughs> he like a fucking me. cap gun low. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> he like, no, he... hey, never had a bitch pregnant in his life, and used to I used to slam and spray him down when you was a young boy. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I mean? You were slaying them and spraying them, but you never and me, you know, shit. I I used to get bitch pregnant by looking at her. Bitch. Martial arts reflexes though, the pull out. <laughs> Listen, martial arts. Out. They used to yeah, call martial me, arts. Let me tell back you in the day, back in the day, they, they used, used to call, call me Double him. P, Pauly pull out. No, they did. They used to call you. <laughs> well, pull out, okay, what's the story? <laughs> they used to call you. Can't can't pull out Wallace. <laughs> Niggas stay in, can't, but nobody ever would get pregnant. He lied over me. Nobody he, ever. So got you were shooting the club up and no result. No nigga, no, he shooting the club up. Nobody died. Nobody got shot. <laughs> he tried to say I shot the club, but he hit nobody. Yeah, he hit you nobody. Lying. You hit nobody. BBK. You lying? Bareback king. You lying on me? Yeah, man. come on, low. Let's you keep lying, it real. The one me. girl you thought got you dad pregnant, you was like, I'm about to have a baby. I never told you that. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I'm about to have a little while. I never told, I never told hey, you that. He was sitting around thinking. I never told you that. Of, he was sitting around thinking of all the names and shit. He's wow. like, he's like, I'm, I think I'm gonna name my son Lalo Peoples. You lying you know on his me. name Wallow. Wallace Peoples. He's like, I think I'm gonna name him Lalo. Little Lalo. You lying on Lalo me. Peoples. That little nigga came out. That nigga was dark skin with curly hair. Shorty was light skinned. He light skinned. I had to say, Lo, that's not yours. I've never, I never been in a situation said, like that. I said, Lo. I said, you lying on me. I said, Lo. I said, Lo, you got to back out of that joint like a bank robbery. You hear me? So nobody move. <laughs> that's not yours, buddy. Back up out that way. You lying hey, on me. And I'm going to keep it real. This nut ass nigga was Ray Clayby. I'm Ray get off the streets go get a job for my son. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't your fucking son. <laughs> You lying on me. I ain't never say that. We're going to bring, him on, the, gonna bring him on the show. I ain't never say that. <laughs> Years later. I ain't never say that. I ain't never say that. Uh, I can't do no more armed robberies with you. I got to take him, my boy. I said, that ain't your fucking boy. Shut up and take this pistol, bitch. Let's run up in this CVS. <laughs> You lying on me. I ain't never seen you talking about. We is that nigga. I remember. Hey, Dev, I never we is that daddy crib, right? I never saw that. I never, yes, I never said. Listen, cuz I never said that. Yes, you did. We is that daddy crib, that. right? I never said about, that. He talking about. I never said that. You lying on me. He talking about. Yeah, I don't want to see the girl name. I don't want to put her out there. He talking about. Yeah, she. She's doing a couple days. She's it. She's due. Little nigga dropped out. <laughs> he called me up to the spit. I said, cousin. That little nigga's not part of our family. You sure, cuz? I said, man, that nigga dark kid with curly hair, man. You lying on me. Lying. We all got that African shit. We all came from Africa, Moody, a fuck guy. He lying on me. That ain't yours. I said, back out that joint like a bank robbery, cuz. Stand down. He wanted, he wanted to take this little nigga in so bad until we grinded him the fuck up. You lying you on me. me? No. You lying on me. He you was, lying. Little dark skin, lay low peoples. He was thinking of all kinds of names. I said, cuz, that's not yours. That's Ricky Blazer, the donut glazer. You don't, mention, me? don't mention Ricky. Don't mention Ricky on the show. You still hate Ricky to this day. Don't don't mention him, please. Was it Ricky's baby? Uh, no, it wasn't Ricky, because Ricky was a light skinned nigga with mm-hmm. girly hair. See, this this why I Ricky's love. Ricky's a coward. That's what Ricky is. You gonna put that dirt on Ricky's name? I ain't, I'm, I'm just saying that was a reflex. And you know Ricky's still out here. <laughs> that was a reflex. So, was a, see, this is why he was so I bad at Ricky, right? That was a reflex. He had this girl. He loved this broad. I'm talking about. No, I didn't even understand love then. So don't say I love yeah, nigga, that I, bit, didn't, I didn't even understand that. She had your fucking heart love. break dancing no, like no, Chris she Brown, nigga. No, she didn't. I didn't even yes, understand. Did. I didn't even know the levels of love then. I was a young boy. I didn't care about that. You, that was tears on the phone, right? Yes. So so when Ricky when Ricky hit you a bitch, you didn't drop a tear. You going to sit here and lie, cuz? You didn't want to kill that nigga? You already admitted it. Then, then the nigga was calling from jail to a ride, just ride. If you happen to be around the way, just ride through that block. I'm not riding through that block doing no investigation on no bitches. What are you talking about? 
You what? You didn't cry when Ricky Blazer hit you, bitch? No, I didn't. You're lying on me. You gonna sit there? You gonna put that bullshit, cuz? You gonna sit there with that bullshit? I'm not even gonna mention Ricky. You're not right. gonna give me a right, promo cool. here. The reason why I don't wanna mention there. Ricky. The reason why I don't wanna mention Ricky because Ricky was a light skinned nigga with curly hair. He'd beat you up and he carried his pistol. I'm not and Lowe was Ricky. scared to death of that nigga. <laughs> and he fucked the brakes off, Low bitch. <laughs> and Lowe was scared to death. But we gonna get into stories from a cell. We gonna leave Ricky alone. We gonna get into stories from a cell. Stories from a cell. Chemical warfare. Visits. Now listen, it took me a long time to experience chemical warfare in Philly, in, in jail. I, uh, once I got caught with them cell phones, they sent me to the hole in Greatest Full Prison. I was on the death row wing. They got wings like death row, whereas though it was on this one block where a lot of death row dudes be, but they got the holes. It's hot, summertime. So I heard these two dudes beefing on the gate. What? You's a coward, mother. I fuck your mother. All that type of stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was real disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So the one guy was like, you all right, motherfucker, you going to pay? So the one dude kept talking. The other dude just backed down. Next thing you know, it was showers on the tier. So when the showers come on the tier, you got to walk past people's cells. Wait, wait, what the fuck are you talking about showers on the tier? Shop, meaning that's our tier for showers. It's different tiers. Oh, okay. Tier one, two, three. Okay. It's different tiers. And they be oh, like, okay. you know, showers, like on your tier. And, on, and, oh, at the end of, and at the end of your tier in this little cell, it's a shower cell. It's a cell you go in. They lock, you take your cuffs, you have your cuffs, take the cuffs off. Once they lock the door, and you just put your hand through the, whatever. So I heard the one dude still talking to gay. Yeah, you's a you a high power cow. You's a bitch, motherfucker. I kill you, nigga. You know about me. Ugh, ugh, all that barking, right? So the boy got quiet. I said, okay. I said, all right, man. About time. I'm, I wish the other dude shut up. So when they go to take the one dude, the, the talking dude, yeah, motherfucker, you can see me. Yeah, I'm spinning your face when I see you. And the dude that was talking all his monster gangster shit, he wasn't a professional hole guy. You know, it's dudes that be in the hole for years. I'm talking about years, 23 and one. You get 23 hours inside of your cell, one hour out. The one hour out was to go into another cage in the yard. It's like, like a dog cage, but it's like a human dog cage. You go in there, you walk back and forth like a dog would do. Then they take you out of the cage and take you back to your cell. And outside of that, you only go in the shower. So this dude, he just come down the hole. He was only down there for 90 days. He's dealing with a true chemical warfare warrior. So the dude don't say now he fall back. So now when he fall back, you know, because he told us about it, he throw a sheet over his cell because it's bars. So when you throw the sheet over, you can't see nothing. So the boy, they go back to get the boy that was barking. The boy that was barking cell was behind this guy's cell. So when they pulling him out, they cuff him, pull him out. All you hear is, <laughs> oh, shit. The guard like, motherfucker. He sprayed him with chemical. Chemical warfare is this in prison. It's when a dude take a lotion bottle, one of the square lotion bottles, piss in it, put shit in it, come in it. All type of stuff. Rotten food. Put all type of stuff in there and let it sit in their cell. So if somebody get out of pocket because you can't reach people when you're in a hole. You can't right. reach them. So the, the way they gang war is through chemical warfare. Okay. And they call that chemical warfare. So he sprayed the garden. I'm talking about the smell of this. And I was like five cells up. It lit the whole tear up. I'm talking about that smell. It seemed like that smell could burn metal. It's so strong and so and so vicious. So when he sprayed him, I was like, it was my first time experiencing chemical warfare, just being in a hole. And it's just the mindset of like a person that would do that. Just you got to think about the, the mind of a person who can sit in a cell, shit, squeeze it in a bottle, pissing it, cum in it, put all type of food that's going to stink, eggs, all type of stuff in there and spray you with it. Mm. Spray that boy all in his face and anything. That's unbelievable. And hit the guard, hit the guard shirt and all of it. Was, the guard ran, left the boy. Ah! So what I'm saying is, it's, it's, it's to the point where it's, though, it's like that chemical warfare in jail, this is the minds of people in prison. And sometimes these dudes be in the hole for years and then they'll max out, max their whole time out and come right from the hole to the streets. Did anybody ever hit you with the chemical warfare? No, I stayed in line. I, I never I never disrespected no uh, chemical war. So, no, so nobody war. ever hit you with piss and chips? No, no, I was, I was a negotiator. Fuck fish and chips. I was a negotiator <laughs> piss back and there. Shit. I, was, <laughs> I was a negotiator back there. I talk peace. We should overcome. I wasn't. With, I wasn't doing that. Gate, that 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 gate gangster. So I would shit. like to think if if you get hit with chemical warfare, then that means you got hepatitis A through fucking Z. You might got everything. You might got everything. Like you might ain't no telling what you got. That's the dudes he trying to hit. He was trying to spray that boy on his uh, on his eyes and everything. He had <laughs> pop, pop, pop. that thing hit the side of his face and everything. Dude was like, oh shit. Oh, that's some nasty shit, man. Yeah, but that's that's the prison life, man. And it's, and it's a crazy people is going crazy, and then they coming back to our communities. 
and they mentally, mentally, mentally messed up. You see what I'm saying? So that's just their story from the cell, chemical warfare. Okay. So now let's get to uh, who would you be? Do you want to ask me who would I be or or you want me to ask you who would you be? I'm going to ask you who would you be and why. Okay. I like to ask you because you think you a sporty. Absolutely. So I'm going to go right to boxing. I'm going to go to boxing, Mr. Boxer. Okay. Who would you be, Bernard Hopkins, Roy Jones, or Pernell Whitaker? And why? Yeah, got you with that one, didn't I? Say that one more time. Who would I be what? Bernard Hopkins, Roy Jones, or Pernell Whitaker? Mm. That's and why? One. And why? I would be Bernard Hopkins. Why is that? Because he's, he's from a, Philly? Yep. And not only just because he's from Philly, but because his bounce back <sighs> was notorious and glorious. We talking about a we talking about a boxer who was who discovered his boxing in jail. Like me, I discovered I discovered my little because I do a little boxing on side. I was in the boxing gym before. But you know what I mean? So the so so the box so be a boxer, and and you know, I think he won all of the penitentiary accolades that I can't you could possibly on, I win. Can't comment on that. I can't comment on that. But go ahead. Yeah, you know I mean, but he was a, sure. he was boxing up greatest for yeah, a prison. Yeah, he was boxing in prison. Right. Came and home. I think he did what 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 Nard did a five to ten or something. I don't know how much he did, but he came home. He came home and 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 he activated his goddamn plan in the real world and became one of the longest reigning champions that there ever was in boxing history. So as great as Roy Jones was. Just in boxing, not in martial arts though, because I I've been I've been holding my belts down for a while. Shut the fuck up. Listen, right? No, I'm just as saying. You, as no, as you say you, you gotta you gotta make that he's you gotta make sure you separate that so people will know because you know people know that I got belts too. Right, you had that jean belt for for forever. I give that to you, the jean belt and the denim belt. You had that motherfucker forever. I got real black belts you know, in mines and cases. But the way he came home from prison and activated his plan and and was and preserved himself while he was in prison, because I think Bernard boxed to um he was 111, right? Yeah, he went from the ex. What was it the executioner first, and yeah. then then it became the the alien. I think that's uh Danny Garcia pop gave him that name, right? Because the man was just in crazy shape for his age. Absolutely. I mean, anytime you could retire from anything at 111, I think his last fight he was 111, right? Damn, I ain't know that. Years old. Yeah, that's the one where he went through the ropes, though. All crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was an ugly joint. Yeah. 111 years old. Yeah, that was a bad way. <laughs> yo, yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said 111 years. He said 111. Yeah, Bernard Box forever, man. <laughs> he, said 100. he kept dropping that on 111 years old. No, I, I ain't even peeped that. Man, I thought he was talking about how many fights he had. No, so, no, no, like, no. you know, the Mexican niggas back in the day used to have crazy records. Right, <laughs> right. 300. <laughs> like, Sugar Ray Robinson was like 126 and four. I'm like, what the? God damn. Like, you fought 120. Nigga, seven nigga fight niggas, every Saturday. Like, yeah. 130 <laughs> niggas. Like, right. Yeah, yeah, Sugar Ray Robinson fighting twice a week. And shit. So, crazy. but Bernard, I think Bernard really retired at like fifty or something like that. But in boxing years, that's like fucking one hundred and eleven. You feel what I'm saying? So to be able to do it that long and be as successful as he was, and to make as much money as he's made, and you know, to then transfer to transfer from being a, a prisoner to a boxer to an exceptional boxer. To moving on to being a promoter, a man. promoter that was legendary. That's a huge promoter. You know, I think, um, I think I probably would 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 pick Bernard Hopkins. That's everything. That's great. You know what I mean? Because you know, minus the jail shit. Like, I yeah. Don't but know, the thing is, you got it when you pick. You that, who would bit. you be? You, you got to do, do the bit. You got to do the bit. You gotta do so that might that might have just changed his mind. He might say, "Fuck that! I'm gonna go with Roy Jones." <laughs> <laughs> Because Roy Jones got to be an announcer afterwards and everything. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me tell you something. Bernard was in, while Bernard was in there doing push ups and dips, Roy Jones was out here getting, you know what I mean, victorious dick sucks from these bitches. You hear me? He was out here, <laughs> he goddamn. He unbelievable. He was out here, goddamn, giving bitches a shotgun blast to the edge. You hear me? That nigga was going and Boop. playing like full court basketball, like semi pro basketball, and then going right to the fight. Right, right. And, and beating niggas. Absolutely. He was a legend. That's <laughs> crazy. Absolutely. So, um, no, let me ask you, who would you be? I got another one for you. I want to know who would you be. Would you be Biggie, Tupac, or Eazy-E? 
I need to know. We know the answer. And I already. need to know why. Let me know why you would be there. A lot of people tell me I look like Tupac. What? <laughs> no, some 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 chicks told me that before. No bitches tell but, you that. But, uh, no, you a lying I'll, ass nigga, man. I'll probably be Pac, man. You would be Easy E. You don't wear condoms. What? Oh, <laughs> he oh. already put it out there. Oh, oh. <laughs> you would be Easy. Stop. <laughs> man, listen, I wear hats, man. I wear them hats. <laughs> Fit it, fit it, Hey, I'm gonna see hey, you definitely be, you be BBK, <laughs> aka Easy the Bareback King. I'm gonna say this, I'll be Pac. No, yeah. but I'm not gonna put that dirt on Easy E name. I'm not gonna allow you. No, to, they, they, they. Uh, I, I think I'm, they knocked Easy off. I'm not gonna allow you. That was a plot to put that dirt on Easy E. Yeah, he, he owned all the masters. They was trying to get him. He was. But you don't think he was going bareback too? I'm not. I that, mean, all the old niggas want bareback. Come on, let's keep yeah, it. Let's I mean, keep it. I never. What, you I can't what? lie. I want bear back. I got five fucking kids. Tell me he ready to lie. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, Tell me he's ready to lie. I, I never. I, I, oh, damn, I did. I shot the club up. Because you shot the club and shot everybody. I got five kids and, and three of them motherfuckers is the same age. <laughs> For like savage. two months. <laughs> no, yeah, that's us was a hell of a year. <laughs> doom, 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 pop. Yeah, that's a uh, boom, 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 bop. Yeah, that's I was tearing ass up. Boom, 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 bop. Yeah, that's I was tearing ass up. Yeah, that was a hell of a year. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? I couldn't help it. They, the bitches all over me like a cheap suit. You hear me? <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going to keep it all the way real. They thought I was going to be sitting on trillions on top of trillions right now. <laughs> Two of them bitches tried to take me to child support. I'll get my money under the table. <laughs> I brought bullshit receipts in them bitches. <laughs> they ordered me to get a bitch's oh, $50. You're telling, you're telling yes. them Yes. I don't give a fuck. I was, my kid's grown now. So my baby Bob's, they thought they, thought they was, <laughs> the bitches tried to puff daddy me. They took me to court. <laughs> they, thought they, they thought they was going to get 12000 a month. <laughs> I wanted there with, I wanted there with some bullshit paperwork. <laughs> they ordered the bitches to $50 a month. <laughs> <laughs> they you was, ride, motherfucker. They was ride. mad as shit. I said that. I said, do you want this fifty dollars of money? Do you want me to give you what I'm big fucking giving you? They they took me off that shit so fast. They was in there bitching. They, no, he has Rolexes and drop top jacks, fifty dollars. I was like, Gil. I don't make no. Money. Did you go in there? You go in there? You go in there? Not knowing no jury, not knowing you what? Was I wore that raggedy ass t shirt. The bitches was looking at me like, You really fucking show up like this? I'm Nigga fucked. looking like 12 years a slave yeah, when he walked in there. No cut. You the worst kind, man. You the worst, <laughs> you the worst kind, man. I can't believe this. It's the same shit hey. my dad did. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, we know how to. Listen, man. Sometimes you gotta. FTS. <laughs> make it to you, make it. No, fuck the system. <laughs> 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 hey, you should heard the you should heard the motherfuckers on the phone before we got to court, motherfucker. I'm taking you for everything, uh, nigga. They th- All right, cool. Watch this. Oh my You're, god, I'm fucked up. I'm busted and disgusted. My t-shirt drunk, shit hanging down like this. <laughs> motherfucker neck of my t-shirt looked like a dip to shit in vodka. <laughs> shit was hanging down like that. They said, man, that man fucked up, man. You know I, mean? <laughs> I got right to the car. Boop, boop, boop. Changed my shirt. <laughs> Took all the jewelry out of the motherfucking glove compartment. Pulled up on the bitch and she leaving. Fuck you, bitch. My $50 beat in the mail next week. <laughs> <laughs> they was mad as shit. <laughs> they was mad as a motherfucker. You right, man. I said, FTS. You right. Sometimes you got to fuck the shit. Um, you rotten, man. Hey, listen, man. I wasn't the first rotten nigga. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? And I ain't gonna be the last rotten nigga. Oh my nigga. god. There's niggas down there right now talking about FTS. Fuck the system. This boy's yeah, gonna work. Hey, listen. But I, I felt disrespected because I was taking care of my kids. You feel what I'm saying? It's the difference if you don't take care of your kids. Right. Like, let's be real. Honestly, I had three kids and I was done. But then two of the motherfuckers popped up on me like toast out of the toaster. You know what I mean? Uh, I had to go down there and take the DNA test. And the motherfuckers came back 99.9% mines. So I had to, you know, I said, come on, train the tribe. Let's go. And it just so happened them the little niggas was the same age. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how that's how life works sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into this million dollars worth of games. Million dollars worth of games. Okay, he says, Gilly, man, I need some help. I take care of my wife and her nine kids. 
I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Her, her, her nine? What, what, what yeah, do you he mean? He said her nine kids. She tell me that she doesn't respect me and she doesn't trust me. And I don't hang out or fuck around. I play by the rules of the game, being married to her, and her <laughs> sex is whack. Damn. And she's violent. How can I get away? Well, let's start off by saying you're a nut ass nigga. First of all, he can come to my protection, my defense class. No. Okay, sign He's him a nut ass nigga. Let me just tell you something. Any motherfucker that signs up for nine kids is a nut ass nigga. All right? Maybe one. Oh, hold, you but, meet up. Maybe but how two. How you know none of them kids hold is this? Hold on. He said her kids. Hers. Kid. She got a whole Wu Tang. Right. She got a whole goddamn basketball team and subs. She got starting five and subs, nigga. How you know they ain't how you know they ain't older? It don't even matter. At the end of the day, she got nine fucking kids. He said, I'm there. I take care of my wife and her nine kids. I can only go by what he's saying on here. Ooh, so shit. how do you meet a bitch and she like uh meet Johnny, Joey, Jamal, Stefan? Tanya, to, that's too many fucking kids. Like me, I, now I can understand you meet a girl, you might love her because you can't. You, you know, sometimes you can't control who you love, who you care for. But nine fucking kids. Come on, man, you were supposed to be looking for an exit plan player. She was supposed to be a pop and drop player, a goddamn a, a, a lay it down and spray it down. That's Don't even that's even kind of scary to even try yeah, that when that, that right. even enter Don't that. Do that. Like, don't I don't do even that. want to pop and drop because you might end up stuck. Right. That 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 might. And and let me tell you something. A lot of niggas fuck up in life because they turn a pop and drop. And for the people who don't know what pop and drop is a bitch that you're supposed to pop her and then drop her. They turn these bitches into pop and staves. No, 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 no. It's called pop and stop. A pop and stop. It don't matter. Like, how did nine kids, then on top of that, her sex game, but I know her sex game wet because her pussy bigger than Broad Street. She done had nine whole humans drop out that motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, like, any woman that had nine humans drop out of her pussy, it's safe to say there's no elasticity in them vagina lips no more. That's like fucking seal flippers. Them bitches just off to the side. The motherfuckers just. You, do, you agree with that, Wallow? Do what they want to do. I'm to well, I totally well, don't agree well, with that. Honestly, honestly, anybody that has sex with this woman gets her pregnant, but Wallow wouldn't. Not wow. the Bareback King. Not Cap Gun Low. You it's the so? martial arts pullout. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, bro, I would I would just uh ejaculate and evacuate. I would I would exit fast. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I would I would want to divorce the immediately. I would leave the building, man. Fuck that, man. Damn. Fuck that, man. You rotten, Ain't none man. of them kids yours, man. You rotten, man. Hey, let me tell you something, man. You know how hard a nigga got to work to take care of a family of 10 and ain't none of them motherfuckers his? Ain't none of them motherfuckers come out his no, nuts? No, it's 11, including himself. He should right. lie and say he got two other chicks pregnant. Then she'll want to break up with him. He well, let me tell you something. She ain't going to never want to break <laughs> up with him. Because who the fuck is, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah, baby, you nice. So how many kids you got? I got nine. What? <laughs> Um, uh, bitch, I'm out of here like a. I'm blowing down the street like a fucking leaf in a hurricane. Uh. I'm gone. Fuck is wrong. Who go, like who? What man is signing up for that? Him. Absolutely. So he definitely got to be another ass nigga. I just got to tell her how it is. How many? How, how many kids? Like is too he might be a good guy, but he's another ass nigga. How many kids is too many kids? For me. I'm talking about for the average guy. Like, if you if you don't have no kids, what if you don't have no kids? I don't give a fuck. I'm not signing up for nine of them little motherfuckers. What's the most? What, what, what is too much? On the minimum. A deuce? If you really, really love her, a four ball. A four ball? I get that. Like, if you really love her, it, it, you know, okay, because you got some good girls out here. What if you ain't got oh, no kids? Okay, you on. already got your kids? Hold on. So you already got your kids and she got four, you mean? No, uh, you might not have no kids. It don't she matter. Had a four ball, but what right. if you want to have your kid? What well, if you want to have a kid? Okay, then you got to have a kid with her. So because you do have women out here that's been like, okay, I've been with my husband since I was 18 years old. I'm 36. We got four kids. That, that's a good girl. But I don't give a fuck if you're a good girl or not. You got nine fucking kids. But I'm saying, who is you to determine what a good like girl that, is? That oh, shit oh, oh. don't go with the matter. But, but, but listen, listen. You, you said that's a good girl. Let, let, let me just back that up. Right. 
What makes a woman not being a good girl? Because sometimes a lot of women make decisions based off of what a man is promising. Well, then, it, it, so, it, think about it. Okay, because a so, woman believes. So, okay, so listen. So if you got a woman out here that makes a bunch of decisions off of what a bunch of niggas promised her, then she's a super goofy ass bitch. That's all. That that don't make you. Could be, so you just go for anything, huh? You go for the okie dokie, huh? The banana and the tailpipe, huh? The nigga just tell you anything. He slay not, you down, not, spray you down, leave you. I'm not saying you. it like that. Hey, let me tell you something. Okay. How many? How many? Dicks do a woman got to take to be considered a whore? That's, I, there is no specific number on yes, that. Yes, it is. <laughs> nah. Shit. Let me tell you something. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. This oh, is game. This oh, game. Oh, like, no, 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 no. It's both ways. It's right. game. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to do the numbers. Right? We're going to say 15, 30, or 45. A bitch take 30 dicks. Oh, listen. Listen. <laughs> but l- l- listen. To, 30 l- dicks. Listen. L- Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, though, cuz. Cuz, listen, 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 listen. They got 30. No, no, but listen, listen. Listen, listen to this. Peep game. Peep game, cousin. I said 15. It's three numbers. One, two, or three. 15, 30, or 45. If you're 15 years old, the average girl start having sex. Yup. And you have sex with one man a year. Yup. From you 15 to 30, that's 15. Yup. If you have sex with two men a year, from 15 to 30, that's 30. If you had sex with three men a year from 15 to 30, that's 45 men. Now, you trying to say. Come a, on. A woman ain't going to never tell you how many bodies she got. I know. So if they tell you six, then you got to times that motherfucker times four. A bitch, you had 24 dicks. You're lying. Uh-huh. And then wait, let me so, tell you so something. You mean to hold, tell on, me- hold on. Let me tell you something. This is different between men and women, right? Women lower their number to. So. They don't, you don't look at them as a whore. Men hire their number so you can look at them as a player. So if a nigga say, nigga, I, I fucked a hundred bitches, then you gotta tie, then you gotta divide that. Right? By five. But listen, listen. Then you say, nigga, you only had but 20 I'm gonna say bitches this in I'm your whole life. I, Stop lying. Think nigga. about this. Think if about this. If a woman say, um, I think it's seven, then you say, mm, you either get. Depending on who the girl is, you might got to times it by three or four. Do you say, mm, mm, seven? No, bitch, you're lying. You be in a club every night. We got to times that times five. Bitch, you had 35 dicks. You're lying. But listen, let me say this, though. All right, peep this. Is that a lot? Yeah, At thir- 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 oh, listen, listen, listen. Is 15 a lot if you're 30 years old? I'm going to tell you this. Because I'm being nice because okay. college time, hold on. school time, trying to hold figure on. yourself okay, out. Summertime is hold crazy. On. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. You're saying if a woman had sex with one different nigga a year, wait, where was the the period where um you respected yourself and had a boyfriend for two, three, four years and wasn't just bouncing from a new dick? I'm being nice. Let's every go. Year. I'm being nice because you might two have one. You might have a wild year every year. You might go to college. You might hit college and wild out. Okay. Wild out. You okay. hit college. Okay, it's a wrap. Okay. Oh, I'm out. Okay, so just because you hit college and you just wanted to start banging. You might have one wild out year. Okay, hold on. Because you hit colleges, because let's let's be for real. It's about how you respect yourself. So I was in college. It was a gang of girls in college who was banging dicks off their head. And it was a gang of girls in college who was like, "Mm, I got a boyfriend. I don't really act like those bitches. So uh, the bitches that go to college and wild out and bang dicks off their head, um, they would be considered whore tendencies, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be considered a whore tendency? If you just went to college, oh, I'm not in my mom's house no more. Uh, dicks are us. <laughs> wouldn't that be what the fuck? So now you're not in your mama house no more. You just banging dicks off your skull. Huh, you just want any just any dick to pistol whip you now because you free. Now you don't respect yourself. No, so at the end of the day, if a chick has whore tendencies, she has whore tendencies. When I was in college, there was many a women who was like, mm, I go to the parties, I get drunk, but I, I go to my dorm. Uh, I deal with him. That's it. This is my boyfriend. Um, so how do you, if 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 you're a woman and you get into a relationship, it, sometimes it should be, oh, I was in a three-year relationship. I was in a four-year relationship. I was in a five-year relationship. Because if you really uh, a true woman, then a nigga's going to grip you the fuck up. What about Mac tendencies, though? Like, you know, some dudes, 
there's allegedly there's some dudes out there that had like superpowers when it came to like talking to women. You know what Me. I'm saying? Okay. My motherfucking vernacular is spectacular. Okay. He'll tell you. So when so, we was young, hold on, when we was younger, right? Wallow got girls. I got girls. I just got a different brand of them. Asian, Caucasian, Balasian. But but Wallow just liked the, the black girls. He, 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 but Wallow's a little younger than me too. He, he's. I will say this though. I will say this. About I introduced him to a whole different life of bitches. I will say this because my cause. vernacular was spectacular. You feel me? Cause, I, cause. Ain't nothing better than an ugly nigga with confidence. Right. So, so if that's the case, then women are running into people like yourself, people like other people that I may know that might not be me, and when they do holler at chicks. They, but you know, it's likely that they're going to bag them. So you got to count some of the numbers towards dealing with ladies' men type of dudes. You okay, know what I'm saying? But as well, at the end of the day, it's like how many lady men are you going to deal with? I'm how many this. guys are you going to let give you the game I'm and just slap this. you in the dick? I'm not slap gonna, you in the face with a dick and roll out. I'm not going to let that pass. I'm not going to let this pass when he just said he was a uh, ladies' man of Mac because he's just like the average of these dudes. Because you know it's a new thing out here, dudes. Now is that. Dudes, dudes dressed a little, all right, got a couple of dollars. He just started to talk to all the type of women that they really didn't talk to back in the day. He didn't start talking to nice chicks that he got tootie. He started getting money. No, he's a fucking liar. He was just like the rest of these dudes. <laughs> he's a liar. He got some money. He, he was, was a, a rapper. Hold on, hold he on. was a rapper, and now hold he only messed with bad chicks. You had to do rappers. Yeah, I only mess with dimes and ten. Hey. No, you're not. No, you didn't. He's lying. No, you didn't. So he's I'm lying. not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, he's lying. Listen, he's upset. All his baby, he's upset listen, that listen. I put. His, all, that all, I put. All, that all, I put. All, that all, I, all the children. All his children's mothers came about when he started getting rap money. No. When he became I don't a believe I don't believe you because no. I feel the or I feel the or I know that he go out no. there and get busy. He represent no. he, he no, represent he don't get busy. He's no. a he's a he represent he's illusion. Hey, ask ask him who dif- who introduced him to a different type of woman. He's illusionist. Ask him. Can yo, you ask him that? Yo yo who who introduced him? He's to call me Philadelphia Slim. Back no no, no no no. Answer the question. He's to call me Philadelphia Slim. And I'm answer, not even going. Can, I don't have to answer that. When I took I you up to that college, and you saw that shit. Who introduced you to a different type of woman? Now, come on, keep it real on here, cuz. Don't be doing no faking the fraud, and that's not in you. No, no. when I went up there, it was snowing up there. It wasn't just snowing? It was snowing. It was, it awesome. was Indians. It was snow bunnies was, up and there. And guess what? And I seen them in they, Philly. You act they, like you, they didn't, you, they didn't love you cuz. You act like you exposed wait, me to Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I wasn't even rapping like that. Then. They you didn't act love like you exposed wait, me to live. they live. didn't love cuz? Because of me. Uh, how, no, see, see how the frog come in. See how the frog, he came up. The, he, he, his eyes was big as my. He was like, yo, because you got the bitches. Damn, no, because this what happened. He said, this what happened. He came to me one time. This when I was in Philadelphia slim mode. Actually, everybody knew who I was. I was locally respected. You know, what I mean, internationally known, locally respected. You know what I mean? At that time, so he came to me. He said, listen, man, this is girl. I'm trying to get with. I, I want to do some things with her. She's everything, but she's a little more experienced than me. He said, what should I tell her? I said, this is what you do. You go up there and tell her, listen, man, let me know about you yesterday so I can understand you, help you materialize your tomorrow. See, the cats to be around me, be around me. I don't be around them. Let me introduce you to living, baby. Let me expose you to everything you want to do in life. I want you to do everything with me, baby. I want you to see the moon. Had you ever been to Mars? No. I'm going to take you there. Get your helmet, baby. We're going to NASA. Let's go. He was like, oh, man, it was cold. You know what I mean? I was cold back then. Not for everybody that's listening, I was y'all cold. know that was a crock of diarrhea shit. I was, I was shit. cold. You understand? <laughs> Nigga wasn't saying that type of shit at 15, cold, 16, you know or fucking 17, so y'all know it was a crock of diarrhea you know shit. That's when I was in my I bag. I introduced Low. I was seasoned. You know what I'm saying? I introduced Low to his first mixed batch. He didn't know nothing about that. He didn't know nothing about it. He was so excited. He was so elated. You're lying on me, man. My name is Philip Slim, man. Come on, man. Anybody can have a name. There's a bunch of names out here getting no, no, money, Johnny. No, 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 niggas broke as shit. Oh, oh, oh. Like, uh, uh, Trap Boy Reese. Let's <laughs> broke it in a motherfucker. That name was. That, listen, listen, listen. I hope that's not somebody. I don't give a fuck. No, at the, the end environment, of the day, the environment was, gave me that name. <laughs> hey, Deb, the environment gave me that name. Because of my see, see, I come up no, with a time where you, you didn't you didn't give yourself a name. You, your name no, couldn't no, be Money Bag no, Man. No, no, no. Somebody had to give you the that name. The environment named him C G L. And that's not to get that tangler twisted. Cap gun low. You lie, man, lie. Because <laughs> you dumped in all your bitches and couldn't get none of a pregnant. You lying on me, you hear? This boy lying. And y'all man. know we didn't wear condoms back then. No, you didn't wear condoms in you didn't you didn't wear no condoms in ninety three. You didn't get condoms out free everywhere, man. But you didn't wear no condoms in ninety three. I, I wore the hat. You didn't wear no condoms in ninety five. I was in jail. You was in jail in ninety five. Uh, you part wasn't, of, I came I came home at the end of ninety five like summer in ninety five. It was juvenile. Juvenile. I stayed uh, in this jail. Oh, right. Yeah. So and 
You never got none of your bitches pregnant. Cap gun low. You, you keep lying on me, man. <laughs> keep lying. This boy keep lying on CGL. me. CGL. You keep lying on me, man. Listen, though. This is million dollars worth of game. Me, 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 some million dollars worth of game merch. Go get you a, a cup, a lighter, a hat, a T-shirt. A bag of nuts with his face on it because he's a nut. You're a nut-ass nigga. And, you know, we appreciate the support, man. We appreciate the fact that you guys keep us at the top of the charts every week. And do me a favor. Go follow million dollars worth of game on Instagram. You see it pop up right here? Right. Go to the YouTube. Subscribe. Subscribe, like, YouTube. share. On YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share to the YouTube. One more time. Subscribe, like, and share to the YouTube so you know you whenever like we drop record. an episode, it comes right to you. We appreciate y'all tuning in every week. I'm This is Conan, the king of the nut-ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all tuning in, and it's just like that, right?